Without the walker he's been seen relying on for weeks, Harvey Weinstein made his way into the New York courthouse for opening statements in his rape trial. In its opening statement, the prosecution laid out a timeline of graphic sexual assault and misconduct allegations against Weinstein, involving six women over two decades who are set to testify in court. Weinstein pleaded not guilty to five charges of sexual assault, including rape, and has always denied having non-consensual sex. How are you feeling today? This trial is based on the allegations of two women, Mimi Halle and one who has not publicly identified herself, known as Jane Doe One. On Wednesday, details of one of the rape charges were revealed for the very first time. Prosecutors say Jane Doe One was a 27-year-old aspiring actress from a dairy farm in Washington when the movie producer assaulted her in a New York City hotel room in 2013. The woman went on to have a relationship with Weinstein, including additional sexual contact after he promised her a film role. The prosecution says she was raped again later that same year. During its opening statement, Weinstein's attorneys called the prosecution's entire case a mirage. The defense saying there are hundreds of emails and messages that show a loving relationship between the two. Citing when Jane Doe One gave Weinstein her new phone number after the first alleged assault, writing to him, call me anytime, always good to hear your voice. And in 2017, when she wrote, I love you, I always do, but I hate feeling like a booty call. The defense says Mimi Halle, a former production assistant who says Weinstein assaulted her in 2006, also exchanged messages with him after the alleged incident. According to Weinstein's attorneys, she bragged about her friendship with him and wrote in a 2009 email, I haven't seen you in so long. Halle's attorney, Gloria Allred, spoke after court. I expect a number of the witnesses to be able to put their emails in context to explain why they continue communication, 